Hi, this is Frankie from About Script. In this video, we're going on to some image editing with GDI Plus. And for this, we're going to need an image to start with. Now, I'm not really supposed to show you this, but this is a superhero, okay? But to protect his identity, what we need to do is we need to blur out his face. So, what we're going to do is we're going to load his image into GDI Plus. Now, we're doing something a bit different here. Um, usually, when we call setup GDI Plus, it's also calling just the basics inside of it, but we don't need all the extra stuff in setup, so we're going to get rid of that. Just the basics does just the minimum amount that you need to set up GDI Plus to make sure it cleans up after. So we don't actually have a graphics, which is why we're setting it here. But before we jump ahead that far, we need to create our P bitmap. So we're just going to load it from a file, as we've done many times before, and then we're going to make our graphics from that image. So this image here that we uh, just saw is going to be our graphics object instead of a, an invisible canvas. So actually nothing's going to show up on the screen because we're not telling it to. So we want to find out some information about this image. But I don't know how to do that. So we're going to go to gdiplus.ahk. And because we're in our trusty site for AutoHotKey editor, we can press F12 and search for something. So I'm going to search for width. And what do you know? There's one result, get image width. And all you have to pass is a p-bitmap. So now we can say width is that. And I'm just going to skip looking it up, because I already know that there's a corresponding height function. So we just change this to get image height. And we now have the width and height of the image. Um, so what we want to do now is we want to uh, just set part of the image that we're going to be blurring. So I'd say if we went, um, let's say x equals width divided by 3, and we're going to call it cx for clipping x. I'm guessing you already know what that means. And clipping width, it's going to be the same thing. Um, clipping height, or clipping y equals height divided by 3, and clipping, um, clipping height is height divided by 3. So what this does is we're going to be in our image and we're going to go a third of the way in and then a third of the way across. Oh, actually, we want our height to be a th uh, that, but we want to start at the very top of the screen or the very top of the image. So we're going to give a y of 0 and it'll just come a third of the way down. That should be sufficient to censor our superhero and keep his identity safe. Moving on, we need to go back and find what the clipping function looks like. So we're going to type clip. And we have some things for working with the clipboard. We have a reset clip function, set clip rectangle. That sounds like what we want. So we're just going to copy and paste this into our file. This is how I've been doing it, I just haven't been showing you. Now, we don't have it called P graphics, we just have a G for graphics. It's much simpler and easy to work with. And we're going to change these to what our variables are called as well. Clipping Y, clipping width, and clipping height. And I don't actually know what this is, but it doesn't seem important, so I'm just going to get rid of it. There. So now we have our, our region for clipping set. Now what we want to do is we want to figure out how we're going to blur this. So let's type blur. There happens to be a function for it. So we're going to copy and paste this as well. And what this is going to do is it's going to give us a new bitmap. P bitmap blur. And now that we have this new one, after we set how much blur we want, and if we want to know how much blur we can do, we just look at this description above it. Blur has to be between 1 and 100. So we're going to say we want it fairly censored, we're going to set it to 75. Well, now we have this, um, we have uh, new bitmaps, so we're going to get rid of our old one. Okay? And so now we have our, um, bitmap here, and now we have a graphics object that's based on a bitmap, and we want to get that and save it to a file, so we're going to have to do a little bit of more uh, wizardry here, and we're going to have to search for how do we save a graphics, 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 hmm. You know we can save a bitmap to file using this, so we'll just put that in there. 
And if I'm, I'm not entirely sure actually, but I believe we can just save our new, oh yes, yeah, so we have a new bitmap, that's correct. Okay, so we can save this bitmap to a file, name the output file, how about superhero2.jpg. And for the quality, we'll put it at 80. That seems nice. Even if we have to censor him, doesn't mean he has to be at low quality. All right, and then now what we're gonna do is we're gonna dispose of our blurred bitmap. And then we can delete our graphics. How do we do that? Graphics, delete graphics. Copy and paste to our file. And we have it called G, so we're gonna get rid of all that extra stuff. And then that's the end of our program. So let's see if what happens when we run this. See it's open for a bit. And then it should close on its own, although it doesn't really seem to want to. Let's see what happens if we just quit it. Now we're gonna look in this folder and we see we have superhero 2. Oh, unfortunately it seemed to have blurred the whole image. I'm not entirely sure why that is, but at least we did a good job of censoring. Um of censoring our guy. So um, if I were to look at this some more, I could probably figure out exactly what went wrong, although I don't, um, I don't really have the time in this video. I'm not going to make you guys wait for me to figure that out, but hopefully I'll be able to correct it and then post the code for it. Alright, well, thanks, and, uh, you know, remember, keep your superheroes safe, keep practicing with your auto hotkey, tell me how it's going, leave some comments on my videos, subscribe, and that'll keep you busy until the next one.